Andy from the Fitness and Nutrition. So do you want to uh, kind of say what we're doing? Um, today we are going to do something more for fun here. Um, we're going to put some masks right in the art kit. We've all got um, a couple of masks. We've got some paint, we've got some brushes. And so we're going to talk a little bit about how to mix colors, how to, like, if you only have a couple colors, how to get all the rest of the colors. And then we're going to do a couple example masks. Yes. So this is animal mask making. And I just want to say uh, thank you a lot to Andy because he created this really cool color wheel. Um, all of uh, the things that we're using are in the art kits, and they're also posted on our Facebook um, for the supply kit. So if you want to know what we're using, you want to come rewatch this when we're done. Um, all the supplies we are using are on our Facebook. And so if you do, should we just get into the color mixing right sure. now? All right. Okay, so if you'll see in here, there are three colors they call the prime colors. And they call them the prime colors because all you need is these three colors to make all the rest of the colors. Um, Brown and black are a little trickier to make. Uh, I mean, by kind of mixing all the colors together. But let's just kind of cover some basics here. So let's start with, so you got blue, you got yellow, you got red. Well, what if you want green? Well, the way you're going to get green is you're going to mix some blue with some yellow. If you look over there, this goes going to mix the blue and the yellow together. And just by mixing those, you can get all different kinds, all different shades of green. The more the more blue you add, the darker, more aqua it's going to be. And the more yellow you add, the more lighter, lighter green it's going to be. This yellow is a little tricky. And here we go. So once again, I'm mixing the blue and the yellow. This yellow paint is a little tough to work with. But as you can see, I'm getting kind of... There's the green. Yeah. There's the green. Yeah. There we go. So the next two we'll talk about is how to make orange. So if you want to make orange... Here, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to make orange, you're going to mix yellow and red. <clears throat> and again, you can make different types of orange depending on how much red you use, how much orange you use, or how much yellow you use. The more yellow, like the brighter the orange is going to be. The more red you use, the more dark orange it's going to be. I need some yellow. Oops. This yellow is orange is very gloppy. Well. Yeah, the yellow is so gloppy. All right, so here I go. I'm making the yellow again. And as Andy said, with the color wheel, we mix red and yellow. And again, this yellow is kind of funky. So you can add water to try to get this yellow to be a little more, have a little better consistency. Yeah, this looks pretty crazy. This looks really crazy. But yeah, and once again, I mixed the blue and the yellow to make green. And then over here, is this a better yellow? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Over here, I'm mixing the yellow and the red to make orange. You gotta really mix that together. And the more you mix it, see this is a kind of a darker orange. Say I wanted to get a, but a bit of the lighter orange, I'd add more yellow. There we go. And the more you play around with these colors, you can mix a lot of colors together, get different colors um, for whatever project you're doing. Fortunately, on this table, we do not have white. So we're going to have to try to use the background of these masks. But yeah. Yep. And one more color. What's the last color? Purple. Purple. So how do you make purple? Well, you take the only two colors we have left that we haven't mixed yet. Blue and red. We're going to have this. So here we go. Mix these together. Yeah. 
I didn't know. <laughs> if we had white, we could make a lighter purple. But yeah. if you take purple and add some white, you'll get some like more like lavender. Mm -hmm. Something lighter. And every kind of there's different kinds of blues. So if you mix a, a lighter blue with red, you'd get a different kind of blue. Um, but yeah, that's how you get. I know it's hard to see with the colors in here. Um, but yeah. All right. So we're going to get into the mask making. Um, once you've got all of your paint mixed up into all the different colors that you want. Um, so in our kit, we were given these crazy masks. Um, but since it's animal mask making, um, we're going to be using these mache masks and painting like animal designs onto them. Yeah. Yep. So we're working off these pictures that we pulled off the internet. If you get on the web, you'll find lots and lots of examples you can use. So today I'm going to be making the Amik, the beaver. And then which one would you be making? I think I'm going to work on the raven. The raven. Now you see that the raven, it looks like it's just almost like two shades of black or a black and a gray. So what would I do with that? Well, one option would be to go ahead and use black and then take the gray and just add a little bit of black to blue. And what we're going to get is a really, really, really dark blue. And that could be the other shade that I use besides the black. I see it gets, you don't need very much black at all to get that really dark. The best way to get good at mixing colors like this is just practice, just do it for a while. It's so fun. So Misko was drawing out. Mm -hmm. So on my mask, I'm drawing this beaver design. And so usually before I, I start painting, I wanna draw the design so I know what I'm painting going into this, or you can just freehand it. You're so talented, but I'm not as talented as that. So I have to draw like a sketch mark. Just so going into this painting, I know what I'm painting. And then I'll give him some eyebrows. These eyebrows look crazy. These look like human eyebrows. What else? He has ears. So what I could do, I could cut out part of the draw and then tape it up here for ears. But I think I'm just going to paint ears uh, right on to his little big forehead. So here I go. I'm just drawing two triangles for ears. Here's my other triangle. And I am actually going to cut mine a little bit because, you know, Raven, there's just, there's not really anything below the beak. So I cut some lines here where I'm just going to really quick just cut where I want that beak to be and come along the mask and just leave that part. So I'll just paint that part and leave this off. That way, when the beak comes down, it'll be just the beak. And actually, I didn't even think I could to cut out the ears. So I think, can I see those scissors really quick? Actually, I'm going to cut out the ears to my amic, um, to my beaver. This is a little tough. anyone has any questions, feel free to unmute, um, ask them or throw it in the chat. <laughs> These ears are gonna look so silly. And if you don't, and you can see we don't have white paint, but 
the good thing is we have a white mask. The way to make something look a little lighter is just don't slop it on. Just instead of painting, um, instead of just trying to go full on, you can always dot it a little bit and get a lighter look to it. So if I just dip it in my paint, dry off my brush a little bit, and then dot it, you're going to get a different look. Mm, that's like texture too, huh? Right, right. I figure since we're doing feathers. Right. So cool. And I'm still over here cutting out my ears. This is what it's looking like so far. So far, I'm liking what I'm doing. And you can do any animal you want. Now that we know how to make the primary colors, you just gotta mix all the colors to get the different colors. All right, so I already have brown, but I'm pretty sure if you don't have brown, how you can make brown is actually blue and orange. So I'm gonna mix these two together. And again, this is in case you don't have brown, going to take a lot of work to kind of get the hang of it. I have green on this paintbrush, but I'm going to keep adding my orange. Really, if you just mix all the primary colors together, you'd get some kind of brown. So I'm going to keep on mixing. Almost there. I have a little yellow. I feel like Bob Ross right now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there we have, um, we add a little blue. But yeah, you can just play around with all the colors. Painting is so much fun. Even if you mess up with acrylic, you can just go over. I don't have a lot, but that is brown. I don't know if it looks like good on the camera, but we got a little brown there. But today I'm just going to use the pre made brown that I have. Um, oh, yeah, I wish I could get through this. Yes, okay. okay. Oh. I don't really have time probably to do the whole mask, but as you can see, mm -hmm. let's kind of get in the basics here of the, the bird. And, the, and then once you kind of get the basic kind of coloring in, then you can come in with some black and and um, design. Uh, yeah. Painting stuff. does take a long time. So now that we kind of have an idea of what we're doing. Yeah, so we're gonna actually go to our next activity. And so um, pretty much what you do, you mix colors to get the colors you want, you draw on your design, and then you paint in um, whatever animal you're making. And so while we're fin while me and Andy are finishing our designs right now, um, we're gonna go to our next activity, which is Miko Sampson. He's doing a fitness activity. We are so excited. He is an amazing hoop dancer. And uh, without any further ado, we're gonna have Miko introduce himself, what he's doing. Um, and again, this Family Fun Night is pre-recorded. If you wanna go back and watch um, any demos that we've done today, uh, it will be posted on our Facebook. Culture Language Arts Network. Okay, well, um, I finished up my, uh, this is my uh, my raven. So what I did, I, I, it was hard, kind of hard to see where the beak and stuff ended. So I just used a little bit of red, kind of accent it. So when you're wearing it, I can kind of see it. That is so cool. The beak looks like a beak for real. <laughs> it's so crazy. You can still see like the lips on the beak too. <laughs> Mine is still a work in progress. I swear I'm the slowest painter. Um, I'll show you mine in a second. If anyone, if there's any youth or anyone who is painting at home, um, I'd like to see your mask, so if you want to turn on your camera, I remember earlier someone mentioned 
their youth are making uh, turtles. And um, what was the other one? A bear. So if you want to um, show your screen and just show what you have. I'm so scared to show what I have. This is kind of a little challenging. <laughs> but if anyone wants to show off their masks. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, for sure. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what, um, what, what did you create today, if you want to share? If you want to unmute and just say, I made uh, this so I can hear. I made uh, like roses because my middle name is Rose. And I decided to make roses. Beautiful. That is so cool. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. And another one there, too. I see something green. I see. Another screen. Yeah, me too. If you just want to say what you did, and for us, your, your picture will come to the front. They're shy. They made a turtle and a bear and a black bear. Oh, oh. just cute. <laughs> All right. Mine was supposed to be a beaver. Tell me if this looks like a beaver. <laughs> I like it here. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of challenging. Um, oh yeah, just to forewarn, if you haven't painted yet, um, and you may be painting later, always set out paper towels because I made such a huge mess over here. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing the paint, wearing the mask. Um, yeah, has anyone else made any mask? Oh, look at that cute little baby. Well, I did the anonymous one. beaver. I did another one, um, just to kind of have fun with the green screen. I thought it might be funny to do this. So. Oh but. my goodness, that is scary. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, does anyone have any questions about painting, about hoop dance? 